I'm the real estate advisor. Welcome to the Budapest Real Estate Club. As you know, I usually provide lots of information about how to purchase the property in Hungary. Today we have a very exciting moment. I would like to introduce you to the very knowledgeable real estate investor. The Ari Kuksus came to Hungary from Finland more than 17 years ago and he ran his real estate investment projects for many, many years. Ari, hello. Hello, hello. I would like you to tell us your personal story about how you actually came to Hungary and how you started this project and what is behind of it. Can you tell us your personal story with you? Yes, yes, with pleasure. Uh, I came to Hungary more than 17 years ago uh, as a tourist for three days only. I was living in Warsaw and I took the train, night train to, uh, to Budapest and uh, 8 o'clock in the morning when the uh, train arrived to Kennedy railway station it took me only 15 minutes when I fell in love with the building of the Kennedy uh, uh, railway station and uh, I just fell in love with the Budapest in three days time. I decided to stay for two weeks, then I went back to Warsaw when I was living and uh, after two weeks staying in, in Warsaw again, I decided to move to Hungary instead of uh, Finland. And uh, after half a year being here in Budapest, enjoying all the cultural activities here, I couldn't move anywhere. And so since that I've been here. And, um, that those times so the apartments, uh, the rental fees for the renovated apartments were quite high and uh, I was thinking that why do I pay the high rent uh, for the apartment because uh, with the same money I can cut the loans. So I contacted the Finnish bank, I took the loan, 100% loan and I bought my first apartment in 2000, uh, in January. And, uh, it was a uh, quite nice apartment in the Jewish quarters in the 7th uh, district, 150 square meters. It was rented at once uh, to the company from Monaco and the rent, rental fee, as I mentioned, they were quite high those times. So I could pay that uh, loan back, then I contacted the Finnish bank again and I took another loan and uh, bought another apartment uh, where I live myself since 2000. And uh, this is, and I'm a collector. I, <laughs> I started somehow collecting these uh, classical apartments. I sold uh, uh, my properties one by one in Finland and invested the money uh, here. And uh, yeah, since that I've been, I've been very happy with the real estate properties uh, market here. Actually, to everybody, I would like to tell a little secret. I am not just property investor. He becomes this very noble idea. Because everybody of us who is here, we become not only in love with the uh, rigorous architecture, we also become in love with the culture yes. of the Budapest. Yes. And uh, now, actually, uh, we are in the RS very exciting project. It's the Ari Kuksus Art and uh, Antique Gallery. Ari, please can you tell a little bit about us how you become with this noble idea of the gallery and what is behind your story about it? Uh, what is the really point? How is you even created such a noble idea as to bring lots of very talented young artists? to represent the masterpieces to the public? Well, um, that story actually started in 1999 when I founded my charity organization in Helsinki. I organized a classical concert in my residence monthly and with the income donations I uh, collected the scholarship funds. Here in Hungary, when I decided to stay here, at the, uh, it was 2000, yes, I uh, started first, I made a contract, a supporting contract with the Lisztveres Academy of Music and started to collect funds for the uh, Hungarian students, uh, music students of the academy. 
2009, I decided to open my own art gallery and I extended uh, the, the support uh, to the Cape uh, uh, University Atem, which is the uh, Academy of Fine Arts. And, uh, but why I opened uh, my own gallery? I was in touch and I knew uh, some artists here, young artists, who had difficulties, of course, financial difficulties, as we can imagine in Hungary and for Eastern Europe. Um, and I started to support them also uh, the other way. When I had bought some of my properties, and uh, which were in bad condition, and at the, that moment I didn't have the funds to renovate them at once, I gave them for the artist as a workshop. Uh, for years uh, they were using my, my, some of my apartments as studios, uh, workplaces, where they were uh, creating the arts. And of course, uh, as I'm a foreigner, I have plenty of foreigners uh, uh, coming here to visit me. I have been living in six different countries, and especially from Finland, uh, people are coming. And uh, I was showing them the, uh, the studios and the workshops, and they were also buying some paintings. And uh, this was the start, actually, to have the gallery, uh, because we were quite successful with my my uh, visitors and the artist pushed me to uh, create, to open a gallery. And this was actually the short story why I have the Arikutsus Gallery at the moment in Budapest. Aris Berliner represented a lot of talented young artists. Actually, just behind of us, you can see the exciting picture of young uh, Hungarian artists. Uh, Ori Mante actually uh, cooperated with the Aris Galleria for several years. Yes, can you tell a little bit us about talents which yes. you present? Yes, Ori Mante is one of the most uh, uh, famous uh, Hungarian young artists. I met Ori Mante already in 2009 when he was a fourth grade student at the Academy of Fine Arts. And uh, when I opened my gallery the same year, I was looking uh, the young talents and uh, that's why one of the professors at the academy uh, showed me around and uh, uh, that was the first time I met Ormade's works. And um, next year, 2000, I had the first uh, uh, scholarship uh, handout here in the gallery and actually Ormade was the first scholarship winner of uh, Arias Kutsu Salakosa Society uh, Scholarship Foundation. Since that, uh, we have been working with Ormate uh, together, and uh, yes, great, he became a quite famous artist, uh, not only in Hungary, but also worldwide. So, everybody who would like to visit the uh, Aris Gallery, please welcome to follow all the news about new events, and the address is Brodyshander Street 23. Ari, please, can you describe a little bit more about your novel idea how to support uh, the young artist from Hungary? Yes, uh, um, 1996, uh, 96, I, I founded my charity organization in Helsinki and uh, moved it here to Hungary in uh, 2000 and I decided to stay here. Uh, I noticed that in Hungary there is no uh, state support for the students and the students are really suffering uh, with the financial problems and uh, there are so many talents here in Hungary and I, I felt so sorry for the students that they can't, support, they can't continue their studies if the parents uh, do not have funds for them. And uh, so I decided to move my charity organization from Finland to here. And uh, since 2000, I have been helping only Hungarian uh, students of the Vistarets Academy of Music and the uh, Academy of Fine Arts uh, in Budapest. Since uh, 2000, we have had uh, uh, quite many uh, concerts that we have been given out of and out of scholarships. We have uh, uh, every May we have an exhibition opening here in, in the Arikutsus Gallery where we promote and we show the works of the fourth year students of the painting faculty of the Academy of Fine Arts. 
these uh, scholarships, like this year, we gave uh, uh, 16 scholarships uh, for uh, students, and it's so vital for them, uh, so it, and it's a wonderful uh, day. Uh, it's the best day, actually, of my life, the day when I hand out the scholarships, because the students, their reaction is so uh, pricey for me. You know, somebody can't talk, somebody starts crying, somebody starts screaming, you know, it's, it's so important for them. And, uh, and uh, uh, we have already saved a few students' uh, studies, and uh, it's, it keeps you so much, uh, you know, so much emotion and so much, so much uh, happiness when you can really help somebody and you see the help, the results of your help. help, not just give money for some organizations who take your money away somewhere, but, but when, uh, when you can see the reaction of, uh, of the students when you help them, when they are in, in uh, such a deep final, financial financial problems, struggling with these problems, and then you save their life, almost save their life. Everybody of us invest in our life, and you invest in your energy to the very high goal. Please, can you share a little bit, like, if anybody of us would like to join to support the young, talented artist, how possible to contact and be involved with this culture? Um, part of the uh, It's easy, actually very easy. Uh, they just contact me, they can call me or they can send me an email and uh, I will give them more information. Uh, the, uh, actually the scholarship funds is working so that uh, all the members of the Art Collectors Club, which is inside my uh, charity organization, uh, they donate uh, yearly 400 euros. Uh, minimum 400 euros. If you want, you can also donate, of course, more. Uh, but the minimum donation is 400 euros. Uh, we inform in January the Academy of Fine Arts, the Beijing faculty, and the fourth year, uh, fourth grade of the Beijing faculty about the possibility to apply the scholarships. There are approximately 16 to 20 students uh, from the department applying. They send their portfolios uh, with maximum 15 paintings. So we have all, uh, approximately 300, 350 paintings offered for this uh, May exhibition. From those 300, 350 paintings, all the donator can, every donator can choose one piece of art. And uh, uh, of course, the painter of that uh, painting or the piece of art that they choose will get the scholarship. But the piece of art or the painting stays in the ownership of the donator. So we, this time we just like buy the paintings, but it's a scholarship, uh, named as a scholarship, uh, because uh, then the students can put on their CV that they receive the prize. If you just buy the painting, there is no sign of this kind of thing. So this is another way how we help them, we create them, uh, the, 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 or we help them to create the good uh, CV as well. It's really exciting because actually it's really the right moment to find a new talent because after 10 or 20 years, like for example, the very famous artist uh, uh, which is pictures presented in the Or Mountain, their pictures now cost much more than 400 euros. Exactly. Please think about it, your investment, your life investment, and join us in the Budapest and Budapest Real Estate Club. I is going to guide you more and provide more information in person. Please contact us. As the gallery name already tells, this is Ari Uxus uh, Gallery Art and Antiques. We do not only uh, present uh, contemporary art here, we also do some antiques. Most of the antique pieces are from the uh, uh, 18th uh, century um, until 1860. 
For example, here uh, you can see the setting that comes from Russia. This is a Russian ampere from 1830 uh, from uh, St. Petersburg. The table uh, rising desk over there is a very typical Hungarian uh, Peter Meyer from 1840 1850. Here you can see Mardes, uh, Ur painting. Uh, Mardes is a very well known artist and uh, his style, which is called Orismus, uh, is uh, very interesting. He has uh, human bodies connected with uh, animal heads, exactly like here, a stack wearing a suit. On the other uh, wall, you can see Adam, a vice wall somewhere. Adam has the apple. Uh, in his hand, which Eva gave him, and the big leaf that uh, Adam was covering his uh, precious parts. Uh, the uh, face or the head of the Adam is the snake head. The gallery is in palace quarters. Budapest, uh, the, the address is Prodishano 23 per B, and uh, Facebook page is called, of course, Arikopsus Gallery, web page arikopsusgallery.com. Welcome.